Hey, welcome back and thank you so much for being here on my channel and this is Dinas here, your health and wellness coach and my goal is to inspire you, to motivate you and help you and teach you to learn to become your own coach. So today in this video, I will be talking to you about how to stay accountable. Now, most people have a problem about accountability because you lack the consistency, you lack the motivation. You start with a lot of josh and you get into the groove and you start working out and you've controlled your diet and you've got everything. And then suddenly after one week or two weeks, everything just fizzles down, something happens, you get busy at work, in-laws, parents, children, husband, you get busy with everything or your studies and then you just, everything just fizzles out. So that is why I want you to learn to become accountable to yourself. Don't depend on anyone. Don't depend on your trainer or your coach or anyone. I'll always be there for you as your coach. But I want to train you, guide you and mentor you to become independent. Okay. So in this video, I will be talking to you about 21 ways of how to keep yourself accountable. So if you're ready, I want you to grab a pen and paper and just make notes and make sure that you follow all my 21 tips which is going to help you to be consistent and help you to be staying inspired in this journey. Tip number one, contract with yourself. So create a contract with yourself. You know, when we go buy a house or we rent a, rent a house out, we, we get into an agreement. So now I want you to sit today and I want you to write on an agreement for yourself. The agreement should say, I so and so, say if it's, it's me with myself, I Dinaz Varatwala, commit today to you to be consistent in my journey towards health or to start working out on an everyday basis or to get rid of junk food in my diet. So whatever are your issues, I want you to create a contract with yourself. Now, this contract is between you and yourself. No one needs to know about it because when you read that contract every day, it's going to keep yourself super accountable and it's going to help you to understand that this is a commitment to yourself. I don't want you to do this because of somebody else. I want you to do this. I want you to get on that path of health and fitness because I want you to do it for yourself. Second point, record your progress. So tracking your progress is very important. And what are the things that you need to track? Number one, your weight. Number two, your measurements. Number three, maintain a food diary. So whatever you want to, whatever you eat at the end of the day, just record that and put it on in your sheet. So trackers are very important. Number four is log your workouts. So how many steps have you taken in a day? What are the kind of workouts did you do? Did you do cardio? Did you do strength? Did you do flexibility? Did you do a yoga workout or did you just go for a walk? Whatever it is that you have done, I want you to log it down. Now, why is that so important? If you track your progress, you'll start realizing, if you track everything, you'll start realizing, oh my God, I actually thought I was eating only three meals a day, but now I realize that I'm eating much more. And that way you'll start making these changes because weight loss is a pure maths, input versus output. When your input is less than your output, then you're going to start losing weight. When your input is equal to your output, then you will start maintaining your weight. So whatever it is that you want to achieve, if you want to just maintain your weight, make sure that your input is equal to your output. So if you are want, if you're on a journey to lose weight and if you're not losing weight, your trackers are going to tell you that, hey, you know what? You are eating way more than you're burning out because today we're leading very sedentary lives and in our sedentary journey, we need to stay way more active because it's not what you do for that one hour in the day. What you do for 20 Five hours of the day is more important. So just make sure that you are going and keeping yourself super accountable. Number three is it really helps to work with a partner. So your partner need not be a family member. Your partner can be your spouse. Your partner can be your sibling, sister, brother, could be your parent, or it could be also a friend. So start creating a small group, uh, an accountability partner and report to your partner every day. When you report to your partner and say, hey, you know what, today I have done this and I've done this and I, today I miss this out. When you report to your partner, you keep yourself accountable, not only to yourself, but also to your partner. Number five is make friends with your weighing scale. 
a lot of us want to stand on the weighing scale every day that's not going to help because every single day you're not going to be gaining or losing weight so just make friends with your weighing scale and do not stand on it all the time next one is create healthy habits if you want to create if you want to stay accountable you're going to be accountable to yourself provided you have healthy habits it's that lifestyle that i want you to change so therefore the amount you sleep or the amount of workout you do or the kind of foods that you do or are you meditating or not do you have good relationships so health is about all these angles and therefore creating really good habits is super important number 6 measure your progress so if you are starting on the first of a month then on the 15th of that month see what kind of progress have you done when i talk about progress it doesn't necessarily mean about uh, weight loss it can be supposing you are addicted to having a lot of sugar every day in those 15 days have you decided to cut back on that sugar a little bit and have you decided to create that healthy habit so then measure on the first you ate say um then say you ate a whole bar of chocolates and you decided to get this journey started to keep yourself accountable you said by the 15th you're going to come down to one piece of chocolate now by doing this you're keeping yourself accountable so if one whole bar versus one piece of chocolate you're measuring your progress number 7 is track your food every single day whatever you're eating just track it down now a lot of people who are working from home men or women who are working from home have a tendency of leaving things on the dining table like it could be a cookie jar it could be a fruit basket or it could even be a bag of dry fruits or peanuts or makana or anything one of these now over and above our meal times when we are passing up and down our dining hall or our kitchen table we have a tendency of picking something so that's how we are picking up many more calories so every little thing that you are eating just make a note of it and that way you will start realizing that Oh my god I really need to I really need to slow down The next point is save your skinny jeans I'm sure that a lot of you have got pants or jeans or sari blouses in which you're not fitting into Now I want you to tell I want you to know one thing that I just need you to save that do not give up giving up has never been an option Look at it every single day look at yourself and say yes I can do it when you start believing in yourself when you start looking at those skinny jeans or your sari blouses that you want to wear then you'll start taking massive action okay number 9 is have a steady diet a lot of people who are on this journey of you know trying to stay healthy do a lot of yo-yo diet i have worked with a lot of people who are into yo-yo diets who are into fad diets like today i want to do intermittent fasting today i want to do um, keto diet what about with the diet now these diets are wonderful and i'm going to give you great results but the moment you get off those diets liquid diet whatever it is you're going to start gaining the weight that is why i want you to be consistent with the food that a kind of food that you're eating also number 10 is in order for you to be accountable to yourself you need to look at the bigger picture don't look at your body or look at your journey from today look at your journey 10 years from now if you did not take massive action what would you look like 10 years from now if you did not take massive action how would you feel 10 years from now so for example if you 70 kilos or 80 kilos 10 years from now you could be 100 kilos for sure if you did not take any action and if you did the same thing and got worse but i want you to have a broader and a better picture to keep yourself accountable if you took action today and you started your journey today 10 years from now you will be 20 kg less you will be lighter fitter healthier and a happier person so keep yourself accountable by looking at the larger picture in your in your journey point number 11 is reward yourself don't be harsh on yourself so if you have started taking massive action when i say massive action i don't mean only workouts or diets i mean creating a massive lifestyle change so for every change that you are making i want you to reward yourself pat yourself on the back and said yes 
I've made this change. So create very good healthy habits and each time you conquer those habits, I want you to pat yourself or reward yourself maybe with a t-shirt. Don't reward yourself with chocolates and sweets and burfi. Reward yourself with something that is going to contribute to your healthy journey. So maybe, uh, you know, eat outside and eat a healthy meal outside with your family or something like that. Number 12 is for you to keep yourself accountable. You need to keep yourself grateful for all that you have right now. A lot of people who are on this journey do not have self-love. You've stopped loving yourself. You stopped, you, you started hating your own body. You started getting worried about your own body. But I want you to start saying thank you. The more grateful you are for all that you have right now, the better the results will be. Number 13, in order for you to keep yourself accountable, start listening to podcasts. People who are coaches, health coaches. I have my own podcast. So start listening to the podcast and keep yourself inspired. So when you're going to work, when you're driving in a bus or in a car or when you're even cooking or when you have a moment, take a podcast which is about 10 minutes. Listen to it. What will that do? It will keep you inspired and by keeping you inspired, it will keep you, it will keep you super uh, connected within yourself, connected to your own journey. Okay. Next point is besides podcast, start watching you inspirational YouTube videos. I create a lot of content only because I want you to be inspired. So go maybe other people's content also. Just watch those videos. Don't watch workout videos because if you watch workout videos, you will become an information seeker. Watch inspirational videos to reprogram yourself and again that is reprogramming your subconscious mind and is going to keep you super accountable. Number 15 is every single day write up, re look up the internet and write down one inspirational quote in your diary. So I want all of you to have a diary and in your diary just write down one inspirational quote and this itself will help you to stay inspired, to stay accountable. Find out non-scale victories what are non-scale victories maybe you lost one inch on the chest maybe you started eating more vegetables every day maybe you now you're starting your morning with a glass of warm water maybe you are you started meditating these are all non-scale victories non-scale victories contribute more to your journey than just scale victories so focus on your non-scale victories and that itself is going to keep you super accountable. Next is meditation. I want all of you to know that all the answers to all your questions lie within yourself. Learn to dig deep within yourself to get those answers to yourself. And how do you dig deep within yourself? You need to start meditating. The more you meditate, the better you'll start feeling. Initially, you might not be able to just sit and do silent meditation. Go out there and do visualization techniques. Okay. When you become a member of the Dinas Fitness community, we have a lot of meditation for visual. We have a lot of guided meditation because a lot of people cannot sit quietly. So just go out there and do some guided meditation. Next is join a group of people who are on the same journey as you. So it could be a group on Facebook, or it could be a WhatsApp group, or it could be anything. Join a group of people which is on the same journey as you. Now, again, at the Dinas Fitness Community, we have a private group which is called the Weight Loss Extreme Group. Now, people keep posting on that every single day, and by doing that every day, people stay accountable with not only themselves, but with their entire journey. If you feel that you're struggling and that you're feeling very lonely, Go get yourself a mentor. Work with a mentor, work with a guide, work with a coach who will hold your hand and help you to be on that track and teach you to learn to become your own coach. Next is join a program. If you feel that just watching YouTube videos is not helping you, then just go join a program. A program which is going to be lifetime. Make sure that it's just not a one month program because the moment you get off that program, you're going to go bouncing back again. So join a program which is absolutely lifetime. And last but not the least, adopt the 80-20 principle. 
80 percent of the time stay super 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 connected with yourself stay super accountable with yourself dedicated disciplined 20 percent of the time even if you let go it's absolutely all right so hope this really helped you these are 21 ways to keep you accountable now in the description below i have a link to my free master class i want you to go click on that link and join me in my free master class and I look forward to guiding you and mentoring you in the next few videos to come. Stay tuned on this, challenge, cha on this channel. Remember to subscribe and switch on the notification bell icon so that every time I post a new video, you will get, the, get a notification. And do remember to share my video. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you and bye-bye.